What's up students, it's your boy PCT back again for another class session here. Today's topic, we'll be going over grain to grain transfers and inoculations. Now what's the big deal with grain to grain transfers? Well, it basically allows you to turn one colonized jar into 10 colonized jars, thus multiplying your mycelium genetics out to as many jars as you want. Now in order to do this, you're gonna to wanna to colonize grain jar here. I'm using this jar of wild bird seeds. I'd say it's about 90% colonized here. Ideally, you want to use 100%, but this will still work. Now, you want really colonized green jars in order for this to work because my cinema has had time to build up its network and become strong and mature. It's going to be able to take over the new jars very quickly compared to, say, if you're doing agar to grain or spore syringes to grain. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to break apart the colonized grain jars so that it's much easier to transfer it. Now this part's going to take a little bit of some effort and some time, so have patience, keep keep at it, and uh, you'll be able to break apart those grains. Now you can use a tennis ball or, or a roll of duct tape or a rubber tire to smack your jars against in order to help break it apart. Uh, I'm just using my hands here just for quick demonstration purposes and uh, I'll go ahead and just cut the video here and we'll come back here to have these fully broken apart and ready to use for our grainy grain transfers. And we're back and here it is. The jar is fully broken up and it's ready to use for grain to grain transfers. I've noticed after doing grain to grain, I can achieve a full jar colonized in about as little as 14 days. Among the different methods for inoculation, grain to grain has always been the fastest in my experience, followed by liquid culture, agar, and then spore syringes. Uh, the time that it will take for your stuff to fully colonize depends on how much grain spawned you're trying to use. Whether you're using bags or pint jars or quart jars like I am here, it's all going to vary depending on different conditions and temperatures that you're storing them at. And notice here I'm wiping down everything with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure I sanitize everything and keep things clean before I start working with them. I'll go ahead and loosen up both of the lid jars here and get ready for the grain to grain transfer. Again, we want to try to minimize the amount of time that you're exposing these jars to air as this could uh, introduce contamination. So we want to work quickly and efficiently as possible. Now, I know the question is going to come up, people are going to ask me all the time, can you use different types of grains for grain to grain? Uh, the answer is yes. You can use any type of grain that you like to go from one type to another. Today I'm using some wild bird seeds and I'm going to be transferring them over to some sterilized popcorn grains here. And it really doesn't matter and as long as it's done in a clean and sterile environment, the process will always be the same no matter the type of grain. I want to transfer in a little bit of uh, colonized mycelium into the new jar. We'll go ahead and uh, close up the lid and give it a nice good shake here. You want to distribute the mycelium throughout the jar. You want to get multiple inoculation points throughout the jars here so that it's going to be able to uh, spread out and colonize the grain jar much more efficiently. Give it a good rumble and you're all set. That's how you do grain to grain transfers. Now we'll go ahead and leave these jars out to uh, colonize at room temperature. Ideally you want to leave them between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or about 21 to 28 degrees Celsius to achieve nice healthy colonization. All right, now we repeat the process for as many jars as you like here. And keep going until you pretty much finish out your colonized grain jars so you have nothing left. Shout out to this month's patrons. Without you guys, I cannot have made it this far. You guys enable me to continue doing what I love. Thank you very much for the support as always. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Leave comments below and subscribe for more videos. If you want to discuss and learn more about mushrooms and mycology, come join us over on the Discord server. And if you want to show some support by becoming a Golden student, you can check out my Patreon. All links will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.